Well, it's three in the morning. Call the fire department or something. This is not right. Ooh. Okay, well, this is the third time this has happened. First, out of a dead sleep. We don't know what that is. <laughs> exactly, that's not normal. That's usually the sound that there's smoke, right? <laughs> We've got the smoke alarm taken off. Or carbon monoxide. We don't know where, what, what it is for sure. No, it's not carbon monoxide. Or, it's not? No, it's, it's just smoke detector. Okay. We got up earlier and there's like seven fire trucks. Actually, what, like 10 minutes ago? Across the road. But we don't think it was related to this. No, it's, <laughs> it was just very coincidental. They're tied in together, so yeah. I can't sleep now. That, this is just too coincidental. I can put it back up there. That's the conclusion. Who do we tell this to? So this is going to go on for the rest of the It's hardwired. It's still in the battery is the backup in case the power goes out. You're asleep at night and the power goes out and you have nothing now. That's because they they can go off if there's a power, you know, a power surge or some kind of glitch in the electrical something. That, that hardwire is, you know, connected to it for some kind of power fluctuation or lightning or some kind of, you know, an electrical storm sometimes they'll go off. You know, you get a power surge or something happens, you know, they'll go off. But you say it's sure on you. <laughs> I want. Can't get a hold of anybody on the phone. What? Her for years, and she looked. That there's. That I, I know everything. It'd be too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get a hold of anybody on the phone. No, it wouldn't be. I mean, if it's that thing kept going on. Yes, I know. You know, if you couldn't sleep or you couldn't do yourself think or do anything else, <laughs> not I'd be on the phone with somebody. Oh. That's the first thing I did is went right there and go listen because if one of them's going off. I couldn't tell walking out there, you know, just because it was like resonating around there. And there's some sort of like hole. Oh, I know. There's a hole out there in the ceiling, right to the in paper towels there. What is that? Did, did you see that? There's a hole out here with a paper towel shoved in it. <laughs> right there. What is that? I don't know. And it smells like rotten eggs out here. Yeah, you smell that? That's what the fire part down there was for. Some sort of gas leak or something. Well, yeah, well, I think it's still leaking. I smell it. You smell it for two. You didn't tell us it was a gas leak. just a second ago. It's what? Ooh, right there. It smells really bad.
Are you sure? It smells like sewer. Sewer gas. Sewer gas. Where's it coming from? Oh, that's bad. Ew. Oh, this. Ew. You can smell it right here, too. Oh, good grief, y'all. Wow. I'm out here in my robe at three in the morning. There's nobody else out here though, just us. Where y'all going? Ooh, it smells really bad. But why does it smell like raw sewage so badly? This place is, is kind of creeping me out a little bit. I'm gonna be honest about it. I'm, I'm, I'm not know. And I tried to call the number, nobody answered. It's three in the morning. Well, I mean, there's emergencies at three in the morning. I'm never gonna be able to go back to sleep. No, not gonna happen. There's a pillow in there. Okay. That is rank smell. Well, we're back. There's a strong, strong smell out there. I, that's what I was trying to call to, to ask somebody. He's probably sitting down there. Probably down there in that place. Good morning. Last full day at the beach. I slept in later today. I've been up at like 6.30 every morning. But but after that little fiasco last night with our smoke detector, whew, tired. I think we come to the conclusion that it was just like faulty because the uh, it wasn't tripping off the other smoke detectors. So we unhooked it and eventually went back to bed. But it was really weird that like all those fire trucks were out front. It was just, I guess it was just a coincidence. I don't know, it was super weird. But um, we all kind of slept a little later this morning. <sighs> Crazy stuff that happens, y'all. I don't know. Anyways. Problem number two. <laughs> the washer. Don't come to water press. <laughs> if you do, I, I, I can't say it. I'm <laughs> a pair of jeans in the washer for you. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit down. This, this day has been too funny. Apparently the washer is locked with our clothes in it. We can't open it. Where, where, where does it open it? Is that the lower chance? It's right. this. <laughs> We've tried resetting it. We've tried numerous things. Yeah, I've tried turning the power on and off again. And I did the control lock, but it's, it's not letting it open up. It is? The washer. It's still saying the. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it said it may take it 30 seconds. Oh, really? I'm going to find the property manager. The clothes are still locked in the washer. <laughs> I can't say this with a straight face. <laughs> property manager asked. Is it. Not in there. Well, he's gone. Well, they gave us a business card to call. That really didn't help us out. The guy down there said the property manager is not the one that helps us, so. They said, sorry to miss you. Be back in five minutes. They saw us coming. <laughs> <laughs> they said they're sending somebody out to check it. We think. We just want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Who is? This guy. He's here looking at all this stuff. He changed well, output. I wish he did. Oh, there's a guy here? Yeah. He changed output. This is. Put a new, he put a new uh, smoke detector right here. A brand new one. Part three. We have somebody here trying to open it with no luck at the moment. 
clothes are now stuck in the washer. Clothes are now stuck in the washer and dryer. So, mom's clothes are in there and ours are too. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're going home, command. Uh, we're we're going to have to sneak out of here really early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> all right update number three or four i don't know but someone has arrived here to check out the washer again it's been hours um we've tried everything to open it it's just not possible so let's see what this guy's gonna do sneak out the door what Okay, the light's off. Yeah, the light's off now. Yeah. Time to go. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Daniel Street.